Hi everybody, it's Miss Danielle, and today we're going to be talking about visualizing as you read. And we're going to use the story, The Great Fuzz Frenzy, to illustrate this um, tool you can use when you're reading. Visualizing is really important, especially when your text doesn't have any pictures, um, because it helps you comprehend and understand what's happening in a story. So this is some text from The Great Fuzz Frenzy, and this is actually in a... Um, readers theater style. So I'm just going to go ahead and read it. And as I'm reading, I want you to use your imagination muscle. And I want you to think about what you see when you hear these words. Okay. Plunk. There it sat, perfectly still. The prairie dogs waited, perfectly still. Slowly they crept out, inch by inch, Dog by dog. What is it? A thing? A good thing or a bad thing? A round thing? A strange thing? A scary thing? What should we do? Don't touch it. Is it alive? What do you see when you hear those words? Some of you might not know what a prairie dog is. The best place, or the best way I can describe it is if you've seen a groundhog around us in a field or something like that. Um, prairie dogs are just much smaller and they, they don't live around here. They live in prairies, hence their name. Um, so they live in like big, wide open spaces. So in my head, this is my visualization. This is my prairie dog. And this is the big, round, scary thing that they find. Um, I made it a, sh a circle because they said it was round and I chose gray because I figured if it's scary, it's probably kind of dark. Um, and I made it bigger than the prairie dog because if they're scared of it, it's probably bigger than them. That was my thought. I have some more text for you. I'm going to read. I want you to tell me how your picture changes. Before anyone could move, little pipsqueak raced past Big Bark which are two of the characters in the story. They're two of the groundhogs, prairie dogs. Reached out and poked the big round thing. No, all the prairie dogs yelled. It's fuzzy. So how does your picture change with this new information, this new word? Fuzzy changes the whole picture for me. So I have my prairie dog, but now, my big round scary ball looks a little bit different. It's fuzzy. So I want you to take a minute and draw a picture of what you see when you hear the, these words. When you're all done your picture, I'm gonna show you what really is in the story. A tennis ball. These are the prairie dogs, and this is the tennis ball, the big, scary, round thing that they've never, ever, ever seen before. Obviously, if something's new to you, you might find it scary, too. I love this story. Um, and again, it's by Janet Stevens and um, Susan Stevens Crummel, and it's called The Great Fuzz Frenzy. It's a really great story. When I read this story, I read it to my students without any pictures. I don't show them the cover or anything. I just read the story and I have them sit down and draw what they see. And then we go back and we reread with all the pictures and the pictures make it a lot of fun. It's important to visualize when you read, especially when a story doesn't have any pictures because it really helps you understand how the characters are feeling and what's happening in the story. Remember to visualize when you read.